salvation this hour, blessed Lord. Remember the prayer I bring before you in the air, the passenger, this hour, blessed Lord. Not forgetting the cause God is in your hand, this hour, Lord. The fishermen I bring before you, help them to have a care, this hour, Lord. Blessed my God and my King. I bring the buses before you, I bring the driver, the conductor, the passenger. Father, remember the rich man whom I bring before you, the home for the aged one this hour, blessed. Rich out and touch this hour, Lord. Pass by the prison, I am for them this hour, blessed Lord. Father, what could I tell you what you don't know concerning your children? Ah, uh, God and our Father, and though your eyes is not deaf to hear me, Lord, when I call you, neither your eyes is not blind to give me a peep down below. Your feet is not to shut to me, to have the Lord. What could I tell you what you don't know concerning your country? My God, have mercy, Father, mercy, I act on mercy, is our total plead. Remember them, said Lord, remember Karik. Again, this our blessed Jesus. She and she also is our Lord. Miss Joe, by he bring before you this morning. Pass by she home, pass by the bed she lying upon. Remember this our blessed Jesus. Remember Miss Jacob, this our Lord. Pass by Hamiti, this our master. My friend Hamiti, this morning, blessed Lord. Remember Miss Andrea, I bring before you this our blessed Lord. Reach out and touch him this morning, touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his foot. Make him what you want him to be and not what you want to be of himself. Thank you for everything for him. The most important thing is the breath. You bring unto him this hour, blessed Lord. The offspring of the body, whosoever they locate, guide them and protect them, all those who are dwelling with. Reach out and touch them in a mark and special way. My God and my King, his staff is in your hand this hour, both me. Male and female, they are is in your hand, bind them together like one bone plastic that cannot be broken. My God and my King, leave no veins with it and could enter this hour, blessed Lord. I bring that radio station before you. Remember the Fuka, I it, Lord. Remember the bonding center. And even the chastler, they do the entire of the gap, the surrounding of the yard. Keep that place safe night and they leave no veins with it and could enter. Yeah. Asking your master to shackle this morning, blessed Lord, my God and my King. Remember St. Patrick I bring before you. Remember that village I bring before you. Touch each and every one in that village, my village and my foes. Pass by the help police station. Reach out and touch them, this our Lord. Father God, the SSU I bring before you. You know the road is rough and the road is tough. But with you, Jesus, I know they couldn't make it. The nurses and the doctors, each and every one this morning. Lord, in my next order of prayer, what I feel to mention, really reveal it unto me, this our blessed Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He may get me to lie down in that green pasture. He may let me decide, still, Lord, but I restore it my soul. He may let me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art made, I run, and I start to comfort me. The one nine test my edge with all my covenants over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Alpha. It's very clear. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, good morning, and how is you? Yes. 
You don't have to kill. You don't have to tell me your business. I know it is your business. Hi, Martha. How is my father? Eh? How's daddy? He say you rude too much. Daddy will never say that. Ah, daddy say you will never say that. Well, what do you say? Yes, I say it. Yes, you say it. Ha! Ah, well, <laughs> go and look for children. I am not your son again. <laughs> well, yes. And you say you wouldn't say that? Eh? Well, yes. Yeah. Daddy can look for children. Daddy are too much. No, no, well, that is it. Drop me. Drop me. I'm not child again. No, yeah. no, play the board or the land the feather, you know. <laughs> and start to show up and go in up in <laughs> the air, you know. <laughs> uh, how's your weekend, bro? Well, I can complain, thank God, for life. Okay. How's the eye feeling? Well, it's plenty good. I put the job this morning already. I had to put it for 10, I had to put it for 2. Mm -hmm. And I do put it for six. Okay. You'll be all right, love. Don't worry, man. You'll be good. Yes, dear. You'll be all right. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So whom shall I fear? Ah. <laughs> yeah. All right, girlfriend. Take care. Have a good day. All Daddy! Right, bye. Okay. All right, good. Yeah. It's real. It's 91.9, 91.5, www.drealfmgrenada.com. Good morning, Grenada. Good morning, Caribbean. Good morning to the W-O-R-L-D. Uh, my name Andre Donald, of course, and together we're gonna have another magnificent Monday. I said to you, if you live inside of London, matter of fact, if you live anywhere in Europe, good morning to you. Yet, uh, let's look and see. Yes, Jackie. And Jackie said it's cold in London this morning. Jackie, tell you it's cold, it's cold. Good morning, Jackie. How you doing, girl? Jackie, when you come in? Alvin Harris, good morning. Kathleen Knight, Caitlin Halley Douglas, Jerome Lewis, top of the morning to you. Errol Bonaparte. Baby Daddy, how you doing? Anis Mitchell, top of the morning to you guys. How you doing? He's hoping that everything is going well with you. And of course, we did say good morning to. Jackie already. He and the Loris Redhead inside of Grandma. Good morning to Miriam. Bartholomew and Anne Marie Celestine Grant. Hey, people, good morning. Triple W from Grenada. What a pleasure. To have you here this morning with me. It's indeed my ultimate delight to please you at all times. I may not be able to, Hungry world out there. but bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna try. With everybody scrambling to get a share. So as you continue to come on to live this morning. And subscribe what? to at least one per person we need to subscribe per day. Uh, Just that. Uh, and if you are that one person, uh, then it's indeed a beautiful thing. Stephen Francis, good morning to you. Where you go? Lennox. You're walking. Ah, yeah. What you say? Where Folks listening to J1 there from inside of Fun City, Brooklyn. Top of the morning to you. Uh, Noise Radio. Uh, you gotta be careful, careful. You gotta be careful in whatever you do. Ah. Got a weather coming up at approximately 20 minutes after the 7 o'clock hour. <laughs> Extending our love. Extending our appreciation to you. Wherever you are this morning, thanks once again. We have to prepare. For choosing 91.9, 91.5, triple w dot grenadacom Without fear. We aim to please and never to tease. Greed and jealousy. Hatred and envy. So we await drumsticks. With, with her scriptures. Jungle out there. And then we get the weather. Yeah. And then we go smack bang in the middle of all things. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you this morning. Ah, you gotta be I got up. Uh, a 
Right, right, like about two o'clock. How you move when you move it. And, and uh, I, I was told. Which I, I was told like that. You move it. Let the people talk this morning, Andre. So I'm like, okay. We can work with that. Careful, careful. So we're gonna let the people talk this morning. So gear up yourself and get ready to talk. Because it's your program, not mine. Laid out for you. In your search for happiness, you gotta leave a little room for loneliness. Tourism Organization's 2024 Sustainable Tourism Conference is coming to Grenada in conjunction with the Grenada Tourism Authority from April 22nd to April 24th at the Radisson Grenada Convention Center. Join us as we delve into the theme of the five P's, people, planet, prosperity, purpose, and partnership. Whether you're a student, an industry professional, an advocate for sustainability, or a company driving change with innovation of eco-conscious practices, there's something for everyone at the 2024 Caribbean Tourism Organization's Sustainable Tourism Conference. Mark your calendars for April 22nd to 24th and register now at caribbeanstc.com to be a part of the conversation that will shape a brighter future for sustainable tourism in the Caribbean. Brought to you by the Caribbean Tourism Organization and the Grenada Tourism Authority. Don't miss this opportunity. Register today at caribbeanstc.com or call 440-2001 for more information. In an industry where customers expect quality, M&N Hardware Limited is a leader in locally manufactured aluminum windows, doors, roofing, and guttering. Our manufacturing division is efficient, flexible, and will always go the extra mile to surpass customer expectations. If you need security, sash, casement, or projected windows, we're able to do it. Our security and heavy-duty doors are state-of-the-art and can be customized specifically for you. Using innovative coating technologies and protective film, our roofing and guttering is weather-resistant, providing outstanding color retention for many years. Available in 24 and 26 gauge and a variety of color options. We are the leading company, a family that is proving to customers they can have their dream products. M&N Hardware Limited. Foundation to roof. Let's build together. 50 years as an independent nation. Now that's a reason to celebrate. Bank on a bright future with Quad Bank. As we celebrate more than 50 years of partnership with Grenadians. Aspire, build and advance with 100 
100% financing to buy land, purchase or build your home, or make those much-needed home upgrades. No loan fees, no legal fees, low interest rates. And that's not all. 100% financing on brand new vehicles with 50% off loan fees. Celebrate you this year with special financing from Guap Bank. Apply today. Welcome home. Angie, Angie, don't you know that you should not fly kites in electrical poles and wires? You should only fly it in open areas. If the kite gets stuck, you can cause power outages throughout the village. Then I'll just pull it on Johnny. Simple? No, no. You shouldn't do that. You can get shocked. You should call Grenlick at 237 and they will come and help. Grenlick, energy. Grenlick, Community Partnership Initiative. On behalf of the Grenada Athletic Association, we want to thank Grenlick for the presentation of their check. This is not the first time that they are supporting our character games. I can remember clearly in 2016, they were part of the celebration. You know that Grenlick has always supported us in all of our activities, in our development programs. They have been there with us and we are very thankful for that. And we sincerely hope that we will be able to, to keep them as one of our sponsors. Grenlick. Ozone really gets it clean. Get with the Ozone family line of products. Ozone liquid laundry detergent. Perfect for your semi or fully automatic washing machines. Yet suitable for your hand wash. Soft on your hands. Ozone disinfectant cleaner. It's the most powerful disinfectant and cleaner with a long lasting fresh scent. Tackles every job around the house or office. Ozone detergent powder and ultra soft fabric softener gets your clothes clean with a natural freshness. Keeps your colors bright. Choose from the wonderful scents, soft flower, ocean breeze, and the new aloe vera. Keep your kitchen sparkling clean with the ozone dishwashing liquid, ozone sponges, and cleaning cloth. Ozone toilet bowl cleaner removes lime skill and kills germs while giving your toilet a refreshing scent. Ozone really gets it clean. Marketed and distributed by Calico, Frequente St. George's and are available at shops and supermarkets nationwide. As we continue to move along in the morning time, 22 minutes after the 7 o'clock hour. Good morning, Drumsticks. How are you doing? Okay, I don't know. Something seems to be wrong with your phone also. We're not hearing you clearly, love. Alright, well, we'd have to pass on you this morning, drumsticks, because we're not hearing you clearly at all. Different things work different ways all the time. And you know, usually at this time we have drumsticks in the morning and she'll read a bit of scripture. Unfortunately, something's up with the connection with her this morning. But you know, Real FM is very resourceful. And based on that, you got to pull something out of the hat. Yeah, just easy, 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 easy pickings. How can we do that? Well, a number of ways somebody else could call. Or we could just walk outside and pull somebody in and put them sit down. And say, hey, tell us something about the scripture. Well, I'll do that, but I wouldn't tell you who it is. You just have to guess what voice you're hearing. As, long, as soon as that person fixes that microphone and they get the microphone right, I think they have it. Now, good morning to you. How good. are you? <laughs> good morning, Andrew. How are you doing? <laughs> 
Well, I would say this about the scripture. You must be ready in season oh, and out of season. This <laughs> manifested this morning, <laughs> it? Manifested this morning. You have Andrew to... just on about to go and start to drink my tea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. Well, I don't know. Something went wrong with the connection. Uh, she's right. not very clear this morning. So I decided, hey, you're there. Come on. Yeah, but you see your God walks out in mysterious ways. What am I doing up in the station this, this hour? <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave that one alone. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Right. Yeah, but so, I could actually you have a scripture for us? Yes, yes, yes. Me, Matthew Matthew chapter seven. Mm -hmm. Not the whole thing because it's long. But I'll just pull out mm -hmm. a few. Uh just a few verses. And I think it is a very timely verse. Uh, actually, there's a verse we could use every day. Uh judging others. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. That alone could be the program for this morning. But yeah. yeah. It might just be, you never know. Oh, stop. <laughs> But let's go. So uh, Matthew chapter 7, uh, for the, from verse 1, it says, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite. First, take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Yeah, that's it right there. The other little piece that you could go into Bible interpretation and why they even had that part attached, but we won't go there. But yes. yeah, just that. Just that. Yes. Judge not lest ye be judged. Judge not lest you be judged. Because, don't just leave it there. Yeah. The same measure. Yeah, same we could stick. put stick. Uh, yeah. I was just going to say. The same, same stick yep. that you measure and you hit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It's there's necessary. There's, there's, yeah? there's, a, there's a clip so that goes like that. The same stick that beat the black dog. It's, it's the, the same, same stick. stick. Yeah. That, that's, that's in a car episode too? Mm -hmm. uh, all right, I thought so. Thanks, Andrea. Have a great day. My students. <laughs> Andre. Oh, so, so, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Am I wrong? All right, sir. Am I? <laughs> yes, that's it! <laughs> well, you have a great day, love. Thanks. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Bye. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> it's only vice and corruption that's going on. Skipping along in the morning time at 27 minutes after the 7 o'clock hour, let's join Jonathan Price at the Morris Bishop International Airport Meteorological Office for the latest weather, which is going to guide us for the next 24 hours or so. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning to you and good morning, listeners. Here is the weather for today, Monday the 15th of April 2024, as recorded at the Morris Bishop International Airport. It is currently cloudy, the winds are calm, barometric pressure is 1012.1 millibars, which is below normal and rising. Present temperature is 24.1 degrees Celsius and relative humidity 100%. Yesterday's maximum was 31.4 degrees Celsius and the minimum last night 24.1 degrees Celsius. Over the past 24 hours, 3.4 millimeters of rainfall was recorded, which means the total for the month so far is 6.4 millimeters. And now for the public forecast for Canada, Calico and Petit Martinique, weather for today and tonight. The weather is expected to be partly cloudy, becoming fair as the day progresses with isolated morning and overnight showers. Today's maximum will be 32 degrees Celsius, with winds east north easterly to east south easterly at 14 to 24 miles per hour. Seas will be moderate with waves 6 to 8 feet in north easterly to easterly swells, hence a marine advisory is in effect. The tides are currently high and will be low again at 3 p.m. Sunset will be at 6.19 and sunrise at 5.54. Just to repeat the public forecast, valid for today and tonight, the weather is expected to be partly cloudy, becoming fair as the day progresses with isolated morning and overnight showers. And once again, a marine advisory is in effect. From the forecast, this kind of Morris Bishop International Airport, I'm Jonathan Price. Thank you, great bro. Thank you. Have a great day. It's real. It's 91. 28 minutes now. Shooting after 7. There's a home on that telephone line. Yeah, there's a nasty hum, man. What you say when you talk it. Yeah, it's there, yeah. 
Well, no, not the tone. And there's that hum in the background there. I don't even know what's causing that. Not this morning. Can't afford to do that this morning. The Grenville Cooperative Credit Union. Credit Union of Grenville takes you where you want to be. Feel secure with the Credit Union of Grenville, taking care of all your financial needs, including savings, loans, mortgages, and sound financial advice. Serving you with branches on Jubilee Street in Grenville, Lucas Street in St. George's, and new, spacious, convenient, and modern facilities on Seton Brown Street in Grenville and Grand Dance. Call us on 442-8602 or visit one of our offices with Grenville Cooperative Credit Union, the Credit Union of Grenville, your financial security is guaranteed. Hi family, it's always exciting when lottery players get together. Now the lottery games are joining in the fun. Check out the multiplier family of InstaCash games. 5 times the cash at $2, 10 times the cash at $3, and 20 times the cash at $5. On your tickets, match any of our numbers with any of the winning numbers and win the prize below that number. There's more. Multiply your winnings up to 5 times, 10 times, or 20 times more. Winning is easy. Play Monday to Sunday. Sunday, there are no draws to wait on. Win instantly. It's the multiplier family of InstaCash games with over $675,000 to be won instantly. Don't just buy one, buy all because family is everything. Must be 18 years and older to play. NLA, making family dreams come true. The new National Party St. Patrick's West presents Skanking Sweet on Saturday, April 27. A back in time party. Bar ice cold. Doors open at 10 p.m. Early bird tickets $15. More after. Music by DJ Just Gus, the Immortal, Small Clothes International. Where? At the arena. Where else? In Plains in St. Patrick. Skanking Sweet. See you there. In an industry where customers expect quality, M&N Hardware Limited is a leader in locally manufactured aluminum windows, doors, roofing, and guttering. Our manufacturing division is efficient, flexible, and will always go the extra mile to surpass customer expectations. If you need security, sash, casement, or projected windows, we're able to do it. Our security and heavy-duty doors are state-of-the-art and can be customized specifically for you. Using innovative coating technologies and protective film, our roofing and guttering is weather-resistant, providing outstanding color retention for many years. Available in 24 and 26 gauge and a variety of color options. We are the leading company, a family that is proving to customers they can have their dream products. M&N Hardware Limited, foundation to roof, let's build together. Third party outages are, outages are caused by parties external to Grenville. Kite flying is one of the major causes of third party outages also. Kite flying over the years has proven to be an issue that has created many outages on our systems. This Easter, Grenleck would like you to keep your kite in sight. Use an open area with no overhead power lines. Avoid personal injury through electric shock. Avoid damaging property and causing inconvenience through power outages. Enjoy tradition safely. Avoid damage and injury. Are you feeling sluggish and can't climb that hill? Do you want to restore the energy you burned throughout the week? This and every Friday at the center on yes, two dollars. You can get your mojo back when you purchase a Bulldog energy drink. Can it get any better? Available only at the center. The center of it all.
一套。What would you find? Quite a lot of us search for happiness throughout our lives and we never really find it. That's a, that is a bit of a bother, ain't it? Yeah. You should be able to find happiness. What do you think? Oh. So let's get rid of that call. And ready ourselves for uh, all the calls that should be coming this morning. Remember, I said that this morning is um is your morning. Yeah, I said that earlier. Yeah, this one is your morning. You're the one talking this morning, not me. I'm just facilitating. So, here we go. I'm waiting. Don't be lucky and coward. Yeah, don't be lucky and coward, man. Come on. It's a Monday morning. It's the first. It's, well, it's the second day actually of the week. I, yeah, second day of the week. Uh, first working day for most folks. There are those like me who don't have um. Do not have first working day. Anything now? Now we don't have that. All right. So we have somebody there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, mom. How you doing, mom? I know you're very disappointed in me, but oh my god, I really do apologize. But don't worry, we're gonna make it up. Right. Talk to me. Well, I just. Calling to remind you again. Yeah, yeah. I I really got I really got tied up. Yes. Um. And uh, there there's, there there shouldn't be any apology. You should be spanking me. But don't worry, we gonna make that up. No, no, I wouldn't spank you. All right. So. Understanding has a lot to do with it. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Yes. Um. As I said, the water keeps running. Right yeah. now, the yard is all wet, coming down to the steps to the main road. Mm-hmm. The water and you know even the the result of the water it's the, uh, last week i've done a cleaning by um washing the whole place down and the sooner i finish well it's like it's not has been done yet 
like nothing has been, you know, yeah. what just keep coming, sipping, sipping from the back, coming down. Regardless of what time it is, it's, sometimes it stops and it starts again. So uh, when I wake up in the morning, the whole place is wet. It's wet. And that's dangerous because you don't even know what kind of a water it is. Well, it's, it's, it's sep um, septic. Yes, from the septic tank behind <sighs> me. You see, they, they, they built a, a big septic tank there and in a way and what have you not having drains or what have you so of course water escaping and coming down and it's not nice okay and all right well i'll probably make some noise about it this morning for you good noise about it this morning and and, and beg and ask somebody to come and take a look at it come and see what's yeah. going on because yeah. there and it's oh oh it's, it's sad yes it is Anyway, so take care yourself. We'll talk, yeah? Yeah, I'm glad I get you. <laughs> okay, mom. Right, good. One love. I keep listening. Yes, I know you do. Just thank on. thank you so much. Right, Goodbye. 20 minutes before the 8 o'clock. Uh. Now, I'm not going to run after anybody, but I am going to send out a call here for the Housing Authority, one. You're the ones who are supposed to be responsible for those homes um, on Chiny Hill. It's called right there in Subis. Yeah. Ms. Job had that problem before. And something was done. But it seemed that what was done has outlived itself. So, again... Housing Authority, you need to get someone or you need to get a team of people to go look at this and look and see how we can solve this problem once and for all because it's septic and that is dangerous for her and for any other person who may visit her home at any one point in time or another. Plus the smell. All right? She's only complaining about the water now, but there is a smell. So, so Housing Authority, one. Nawasa. You're supposed to be responsible for sewage, I, I, but I doubt that you'll be responsible for what is a private sewer problem. But maybe you two can look. And thirdly, it is what? The Subiz area. Yeah, Subiz area. It is close to where they are being that constituency is represented in Parliament by the, the Honorable Emmeline Peer. Ms. Peer, I don't know if you're listening this morning, if somebody's listening, who can pass a message on to you. Might I suggest, ma'am, and I may be out of place to suggest this, but might I suggest that you uh, maybe send somebody to have a look at it and let the person, let let Ms. Job know that the person is coming from you. Have a look at it, and maybe uh, the person can make some recommendations, and uh, you then can take these recommendations to the housing authority. Ms. Player, good morning to you. If you can do something like that, please let me know, all right? So you can send uh, one or two persons to have a look at Ms. Job's place. Um, your people might get there faster than the housing authority gets there because you know housing and them. You know how they're, they're just be able to take in three years before they do so and do anything. Anyway, but please, someone got to do something. And I don't want to start to make noise because you guys know I can make a lot of noise. Yeah. Do I love making noise? No, I don't love making noise like that, but I could. And um, so somebody needs to handle Miss Job. A mom job. Don't let me. Not because she name is Job. Don't feel she has all the patients in the world. And don't get yourself together on that one. Get yourself together on that one. Don't fear that. You know? Anyway. Somebody else online. Remember I said this morning the program is yours. You see? Miss Job called already. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Brother Andre. Yes. Good morning. Andre, I hear something there. I can't believe that. I heard the Prime Minister. Uh, and the entourage went in, went in Cuba. And the Prime Minister bring two, bring two, two, two items to uh, pick him with my bishop and himself. I do believe, when people don't know the history, 
All right? They would do stupid things. Grenada had a relationship with them um, in Cuba in junior revolution time. And even when the Mitchell, when the MP was in office, they had that relationship with Cuba. So the Cubans already know Bishop. They already know Bishop. So when I and I, when I hear how that um, he bring down in Cuba, he in Cuba with a, a, a picky boy Bishop, I ask him, what with that? We get people who know better. They should tell him, Mr. Prime Minister. The Cuban I already know how to my bishop, many people my bishop, because they had a relationship with, uh, with Green already. So, Mascal, I want to say, Mascal, Andre, in the midst of them, I always say, when people don't know something, ask questions. Ask questions. Well, I understand they have a press conference, I have a press conference, a press conference um, Sunday, which was yesterday. I understand that only the princess spoke. You see, afterwards, the other, uh, other, mem- other people that went into we have we, we speak, but we want to know what they come back with. Even they come back with some thing for the Greenland people, uh, if what they come back with, if it's possible for this, for this, we have this morning. We got some I owe you this morning. Yeah, I, that someone just said to me earlier this morning, look, Andre, program belongs to the people this morning. Let them roll. Get the things off your chest all right get your things off your chest i in relation to what he just said talking about um photographs of leaders and so on i hey i don't know man i really don't know It, it is as if nobody is thinking. Nobody is thinking. And you don't have... To, oh, I don't even know how to comment on that one. Who brings photographs to anything these days? Somebody want a photograph, they just Google you. And they see what you look like. What is the significance of, of a photograph of the Prime Minister of Grenada, who is, of course, the Honorable Deacon Mitchell? What is the significance of a photograph of him being presented to the government of people of uh, Cuba? What is the significance? What is that? Picture, picture, yes, picture. I remember playing that game in, 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 in school. Picture, picture. Yeah. No picture. Yes, picture. Remember that game? Yeah, I played it. Probably tell you my age. <laughs> but seriously, who does that? St. Vincent, they gave to the government, the people of Cuba, they gave um, some flour, I think it was. Yeah couple hundred pounds or a couple hundred tons of flour. That's good. Morning. Oh, oh boy. Oh, he- hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning. Good, good morning. Morning, sir. Morning. Morning, Will FM fam. Andrew, something was on my mind for the past couple of weeks, right? Uh, um, I don't know if I'm, if I'm wrong. Um, and you had to be driving at least five years and you get your D1 or what have you. Would that be an ongoing thing every year, or is it in law now that once you're driving five years, you can go and do your D1, or is it a one off? Do you have any clue on that? No information. I did not research that. I'm not prepared to answer that question. Because that is what was, put, was on my mind. Because I recall prior to this NDC government, even the, the one of 2008. There was things like that, which which they called um, what I call giving a blay. They was given that um, what they call amnesty. You could go in and and get our bread. So uh, I want to know if there is Lord know that.
they had, had all the ministers. But in other pictures, like when it was in schools and then there was a gentleman by the name of Orlando Romain. I want to know what was Mr. Romain's purpose on that trip in that delegation. Because it seems to me that when this government travels, they would when the the opportunity of right? The travel put and take put ups. Right? And to me, if we're doing this thing and we want to be clear and stuff, we, we need we, we need explanations. Yes, you're saying you're going to sign some MOUs, I like about nine of them. And fine, great. You claim to say you're having a, a press conference yesterday when you come back from, from Cuba. Then you're that they're going to bring the seven o'clock. Then lo and behold, I get that notification from the minister speak. He says he's tired and what have you. And the other ministers will talk this week. I mean, come on, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have no clue what is taking place right now. And I, I just trying to send the ball. I hope all of the houses send the ball. And that's what's happening. And, you know, I, and but, <laughs> my job to know stupidness, <laughs> but you know, stupidness. <laughs> Come on, Come let, on let, let me put it. Lasting. Let me put it to you. No, let me put it to you this way. Look at what you just said, uh -huh. and which is true. It was announced that there will be a press conference. Media persons are invited to be part of the press conference, right? <laughs> no. When you are you there? Oh, you're still gone. Anyway, so you're gone. So we, um, if you call back, then that's fine. But if you announce that there's going to be a press conference, planes of being tired. My God, didn't you know he was going to be tired? He, he's going to be tired. So we, we have to get... We, we, these people just need to get their act together. Could have done press conference tomorrow, Tuesday, with the entire delegation or the important members of the de delegation. Could have done that. They didn't have to do so. Man, as I said, the program belonged to y'all this morning. Eh? Just do thing. Yeah, talk to me. You know the numbers, 442 sorry. La, uh, uh, landline or and some of the other my stream is giving them why did I stream I don't want to raise and, and there, there's there's a reason why I don't want to raise anything Right now, I, I really and truly try my best to give the government the benefit of the doubt. Right? I try my best at all times to give the government the benefit of the doubt. And it just seems like over and over and over, they continue to, to just do this kind of, say that word kind of thing. Yeah, I, I am... Totally disappointed in in how they continue to operate. Totally disappointed. There's so many issues that has to be addressed in Grenada at present. So many issues. And the big issue, <clears throat> one of the big issues. And there's a question. It's a question. I have to ask the question: Is it true? Listen to me very carefully. Is it true that there was some remedial work done on the pavilion at Victoria Park in Grenville? Is that true? Is it true also that there is a project to come 
which calls for the demolition of that said park. That's a project to come that speaks to the demolition of that said park. And let me tell you this. And to the government, I say to you, I don't like to do so and jump on your shoulders, but sometimes you cause me to, 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 to just do that. Now listen to this government. And I hope you are listening and listen to this. If, if before five years you demolish the facility at Victoria Park in Grenville, you're gone. You, you're gone, gone, gone. Because that's wasting taxpayers' money. Based on the work that you did on the facility, I'm, for, I'm always for development. Based on the monies that you have spent on the facility, I can't see you do, doing anything. You can't demolish the building. What you should have done is demolish the building first and build a nice new one. Used, is it? Or was it an opportunity to provide for the boys? So you allowed that to continue or to take place. And now, when the park is to be, not the park, but the, the, the facility the, is, is to be demolished to make way for a new facility, you must be crazy. Demolish that within five years. How Canadian people really read. People do The number of things that I'm hearing, and I'll tell you one of the things that I'm hearing. I am hearing that based on what is happening and based on the disappointment that the Prime Minister of Grenada has with his cabinet, he's getting ready to make some moves again. One of the moves that he's getting ready to make, I am told, one of the, the moves that he's getting ready to make will send tremors through the entire island. As a matter of fact, it will, it will Mitchell can do such things. Now the question uh, okay. So here is what. I am understanding that there is a great possibility that the minister responsible for sport, the minister responsible for sport, here is another cabinet reshuffle. I'm hearing that the minister for sport presently will not be the Minister for Sport anymore. As a matter of fact, word is, he may not be a senator anymore. He may not be a senator anymore. Word is, word is, he may come out of that being an ambassador and sent to another country. That's just word on the ground. Walking, Doesn't have to be true, what you but I believe it. When you're talking, I don't know what you believe. You see, I think, the, I think the, the, the Prime Minister and others have a bit of a bother with Mr. Um, Mr. What's his name? Oh, help me, huh? Oh boy, how could I just get a, a, a brain freeze just at Lacrette? Yeah, that's it. 
With Senator Lecret, I believe that the Prime Minister have a bit of a bother. Because Senator Lecret made Burns redundant. Because he said, look, I don't need any advisors. So how did it goes Patrick Simmons? And how did it goes, um, what's the other one? And the other guy from Grenville. Again, brain freeze this morning. Al Alzheimer's stepping in. Yeah. But in any event, all the dough for those two individuals, yeah? Because Senator Lecret says, I am a bright boy. I don't need. I don't need. Senator Lecret says, I wear yellow shirts and red shoes. So I don't. I know that's it. But just go back and look at the picture. The yellow shirt and red shoes. Red and white shoes with yellow shirt. Yellow t-shirt. Yeah I, yeah, I said that. But he said, meaning, Senator Lacret here, he said, look, um, I'm Greenville, man. I don't know his name. Somebody, can somebody see? 442 Those are digits that you can dial. What's the guy's name? Somebody needs to tell me, man. Oh, oh yeah, we do good. Hello? Good morning. Okay, goodbye. Take care. God bless you. Yeah, anytime I say things that they believe that, oh boy, we Andrew get this information, and they'll do something, want to call and just tap my line. That thing. But that's okay. The important thing is that God has given me the ability to speak. Yeah, Jillian Williams, good morning to you. Antonito. Yeah, Antonito, I am telling you, the internet is not working well today at all. At all, at all, at all. Carla Walcott, how are you? Dickon has to move himself. Shuffling the deck of jokers will make no difference. Well, where is he going to move to? Move out? Hey, Carla? Carla, how's the weather today? Good morning. Good morning. Hello? What, boy? Let me see what's going on here. Let me see what's early. All right, we got that going there. So what's going on, man? Yeah, gremlins in the system, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Carla, what's the weather like in New York this morning? Ma uh, Mario Marcel. Good morning, everyone. Real FM family, yeah. Good morning to you, too. More strength, more life. Okay, so somebody said Mrs. Spear is not on the island. Well... I make, call, call I'm coming to you. Let me say, I made a, 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 that call. You heard it, and you know that Mrs. Spray is not in the island. Get in contact with her office and say, Yo, office, you need to start doing this. You need to go and inspect what is happening by Miss Job. Miss Job, then go inspect, go and see what's happening so you can report to Miss Spray when she comes back. Don't just sit there and say she's not in the island. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Donald. Yes, sir. Mr. Donald, Chaney Hill is in Southwest. In Andrew. Oh, it's in Southwest. The, the majority of people came from Southeast, from on the seaside. And they were oh, okay. Talking about Lennox, Andrew. So that is Lennox place. Yeah. That's well, I'll make it better. Lennox, Lennox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Southwest. That's Southwest. Well, I, because I'm thinking. Oh, so the other side of the road is Emlyn. Yeah, the seaside. The seaside. The seaside is Southeast. Okay. The side is Southwest. Ah. So Mr. Lennox, Andrew. You know the parliamentary representative of South Okay, West. so the um the the, the 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 fishing facility that Emlyn and so conceptualized and is being built right now is in Emma's constituency. Yes. All right. And at the end of, that is the end of the southeast and southwest boundary on that on that side there. Okay, good. But 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 could you live in the southwest, don't you? Yes, I live in South So West. do me a favor, go and check Miss Job now. Oh my God, ah, huh? just check and see what's going on now. You you have a construction background. Yeah. So if you go check her out, you can see, you get an idea because it is a septic tank that's, that's leaking. I don't know if it's a soak away. That is something that has been plaguing that, um, mm. that housing system a little while now. Eh? But go have a look. Oh, but give us some encouragement now. Yeah, but let, 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 me talk to, let me talk to Mr. Andrews and see if he could 
how you could how you still a team because it is is a man that is missing in action in Southwest. Boy, well, so you know he missing in action yet still you want him to go and well you know the man that's just choking behind the back. <laughs> that might give him a reason to go in Shiny Hill now. No man, the man go just throw that behind the back. Anything that come in front of me, just throw it behind the back. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that's how you wear the tie. I didn't say that's how you wear. I never speak about the man tie. Say anything that go in front of me, throw it behind him. <laughs> that is how the man operate. Yeah, but that's how it was, brother. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the info, bro. All right, good man. one, love. Julie Dubois, the great doctor. How are you doing, my darling? Glad to know you're listening. Really appreciate that. Okay, so Carla says they have nice weather in New York today. And yourself, girl. Hey Julie, are you are you at work already or are you you now nah, well, you can't be sending messages while you're driving. Unless you have a driver now, you're probably elevated to that level, me dear. Uh-uh. Wow. Shane Ross, good morning. Antonito. Yeah, that internet kicking up this morning, boy. Ain't playing right at all. Hillary, top of the morning to you. Yeah, Jackie, I know the stream kicking up there. Something is wrong with our internet this morning. Hope that it gets sorted out. New York. Toronto. Please. All right, we got the guy. Oh, that guy, Ian Django Thomas. He was an advisor too. Yes. Okay, Ian. So the but in fact, not the guy. He don't advise. Do you know? Yeah. Is, is he still working? I guess. You're guessing. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, though. Welcome. Right. One love. So yes, Ian Django Thomas. Yeah. Man say you want you as my advisor. Yeah. Fire you. Get you. Go out of the way. What happened to you? Crazy. Or? You think I run? Morning. Hello? Yes. Good morning, Mr. Andrew Donald. Good morning. Yeah. Um, I... I... some... Some things that are really... He can. And the Prime Minister alone speak and he say it's sad. I mean, there is little children, they are not a thing. Little thing. I mean, the Prime Minister, I, I don't understand. A, a, a press conference to take place seven, six, five in the in the evening and then you you know you you set up um persons to want to ask questions uh, and you see you're tired and the others will give a count later on. I mean I haven't told before, big men sit down you uh, something something ain't right that's all. Something ain't right. Somebody seems to be I didn't back some. I, I, I don't know. But I, I don't find that behaving like big people. You know? Something, some, something not right. Mr. Andrew, something not right. And we need investigation. I don't know who will do the investigating, but, you know, you didn't have no disaster. We you have to have the, the press conference. The um the the work that was done in in Victoria Park. It was Miss Yulan Dane when she was minister. When the in a little something and she said they have to um recondition the place there and she said that preparation was being made was making in the making for that so it's not something new it's not something that it, that 
that the NC just come out and pull out. It was a plan, something already to renovate that place. And I, for what I see on the television, it's looking good. Can but, say, say what you just said, said again. What? What you just said, say it again. What, you mean everything? No, what you just said about the, the, the facility. I find, for what I see, looking good. It, for my parents, it's looking good that, you know, the renovation and whatnot. And you're talking good. about Victoria Park? Yes, yes. I, I agree with you that it's looking good. I have no problems with what was done, you know. Yeah. I, no, my, my problem is mm -hmm. that there is a problem with the that, That's part of it. That you that part yet. But um, again, if there is a project to do that, that a person in authority knows that there's a bigger project or other project to be done there and do that. Because I remember, I mean, I go there fairly often, uh, past the woman when I go there. And the, the, I thought the liquor windfall, the ground there, the, the, the road there was in a dilapidation condition in a wet deep condition you can't pass and whatnot so i i know that there's a whole construction work should, should be done there but I, but hearing you now that there's a, a bigger project for there i can't understand something seems to be not right again and it and what funds I, missing you we have funds. Where funds missing? Tell me. I don't know. I just hear. Where, where, where you hear that? I ain't hear that. Tell me. Well, um, what did you, you might, hear? You might, you might hear it. I didn't hear. Right, you might hear. You might hear it. But I'm, I'm saying. Where are the funds missing, Clifford? I say I can't go into the details of it. You, you but can't I'm saying, go. Oh, you can't go into the details, no, and then you I'm want me to go into that details, Clifford? There, that's not there fair. There are some questions to be asked, asked from the government, and I. Wrote, those authority, like mm. the opposition and whatnot, mm. please ask those questions so that we, the, 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 the public can know. I know that the, go, the Prime Minister said that um, questions will, will be answered when it's appropriate. And um, there will be press conference when, it's, when they see it fit. But I still believe that there are some questions uh -huh. to be answered. For instance, um, we have a committee there. Funds missing again? Funds huh? No, 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 no. no. Um, there is a, a a committee which we call the, what the um, the um, integrity in public public life, and we know that a new person was appointed today, Miss um, Bristol, uh, as the chairperson, and I have not heard of one public um, um, uh, meeting that that was held or, or, or information that was held there. And I thought, hearing so much things, at least the, the, um, that committee would have started work already and report to the nation, just like they report to the nation in the nutmeg and whatnot, which took a long time, but they explained to people. So why are we not getting any report on, from that committee? So, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that the journalists and the opposition, the, uh, I, if I have the privilege to ask it, I'll ask it, but I don't have that privilege. But that, so I'm thinking, saying that the person in, in authority of that privilege should really be educated because it seems to me. And now I hear him, you shuffling the pack again. I mean. So what's wrong with shuffling the pack? Listen, even though you shuffle the pack all about, if a fella can't catch good and you put him in front of the wicket to catch and he's dropping ball there. If you put him on the bungalow, he's still and he can't catch good, he's still drop, he going to drop ball there. No? If a fella can't run, and you want him to go and open back to make runs fast. And you put him to open back. He's still fast. He can't run. No, can run if he can't run, you hit six. Huh? If he can't run, you hit sixes and fours. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. Something seems to be not bottling up there. You know? And, and that brings me back to a time that Mr. Tillman Thomas was Prime Minister. And the rumors was heavy around the tongue that... Um, Thing is, the cabinet is not sitting good, and I personally remember. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mr. Thomas is from St. Patrick's, eh? 
Yes, I know that. I just let you know. And Mr. So, Thomas is a very good friend of mine. He's a be, gentleman. Be careful where you go. I have a lot of respect for and I like. Be, be, be careful where you're going. Yes, right. I, I, mean, I will always be careful. If he him. dumb, he dumb, but he dumb and he from St. Patrick's. Yeah, I, I know that. So careful. And I, lo and I love right. St. Patrick. Let me tell you that because I, I don't know I what you love, bro. Just letting you know. You know, I if he dumb, he dumb, but he's dumb, but he's from St. Patrick. For a long time. I don't take no prisoners when it comes to my parish. Right. If he dumb, he dumb. He could be no, dumbest prime minister that passed fine, but he's from St. Patrick's. Right. I know Good. that. I know that there was a time when things was very bad in his cabinet. And when he was asked questions, because I personally asked him a, the question on, on, on the radio. And I said, look, I understand the ship sinking, man. Your t the shoes getting the shoe, your toes squeezing in the shoes, in the shoes, and he tell me, no, no, everything is okay. Good, have a nice day, Clifford. Right. And then a little you. while after that, Mister 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 um, Ali Gill said that everything well in the party, right. and we we eating and we having fed every weekend. Right. And Good. soon after that, the cabinet, the bowl break. That is all right. The bowl break. So that I'm hoping. That's not what's happening now. Mr. Thomas is from St. Patrick. But we, but we, we definitely need some answers to some of these questions. Have a nice day, Clifford. Same to you. Can I get stuck? You can cast power outages through all the village. Then I'll just pull it down, Johnny. Simple? No, no. You shouldn't do that. You can get shocked. You should call Grenlek at 237 and they will come and help. I Grenlek. Energy. BF 2024 Italy City Sports presents the fourth annual Football Under the Lights at Russell Plainfield in St. Patrick. $20,000 up for grabs in cash and prizes. First place winner in the senior will receive $4,000 and under 17, $1,500. Second place, $3,000 and under 7. 17, 1,000. The Dream Team, all the way from St. Davis, is ready to defend. Come witness one game nightly on weekdays and two games on weekends. It's two competitions, one for the seniors and the other for under 17. Registration fee, $400 for seniors and under 17 is free. All teams will be able to register at least 20 players. All players must have their uniform and must be numbered. Contact 538-750. Or 406-9580 Football, Football under the light Saturday, February 3rd Until April 30th Rosal Plainfield, St. Patrick's Be there on Saturday, May 11th, we're doing it special for all mothers as PQ and Frida Dick Sauce presents A Mother's Love, A Mother's Love. A love affair going down at the Arena Nightclub, Plains in St. Patrick's, and your DJs keeping you rocking all night long. It's DJ Just Gus, PQ and Cut Squad, DJ Mad Kid and Clendon, and the 473 Rulers. And trust me, you can't afford for to miss this one five hundred dollars cash prize for the eldest and youngest mother with id plus loads of exciting prizes for the ladies appliances groceries dinner care and nail do ladies give baskets phone credit and much more admission twenty dollars it's a mother's love the arena nightclub planes in st patrick Saturday, May 11th from 9 p.m. Sponsored by Coca Cola, We FM, Top FM, Shandy Carib, Digicel, Boss FM, Calico Shopping Center, Latouche Interior, Jimmy Bones Bar, Twins Grocery and Bar, Nick Nickers, Acrylics, and Kimberly's, Here and Beauty Studio. Express your style with color by Sissons. 
The first word when you speak about furniture is classic. Yes, at Classic Furniture, they design and make the best in local furniture. All their products are made from the finest local wood available on island. You think it, they design it and make it to your expectations. The highest standards at the best possible price and they also provide higher purchase for you, their valued customers. Located on Ben Jones Street in Grenville with their factory at Chantemel in St. Patrick. That's where you need to visit when looking for products made of the finest local wood. They deliver and install items at no extra cost. Your satisfaction is their mission. The extra step is taking to ensure their customers are completely at door stores antique pieces to look like the first day they were made. Hey, give us a call on 442-4645 and 442-9726. Classic Furniture, Grenada's homegrown furniture producers. It is said the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Therefore, the authenticity of the beverage can only be acquired in the taste. A taste which is original to Antoine de Beauregard Industries and comes from a combination of spices and local rum which can hold its own all over the world. Woodman, a strength which speaks for itself. A taste which stands out from the rest. Bottled with care which speaks to perfection. Try Woodman today and be stunned by a flavor as never before. Let your palate savor that which is produced locally. Do not be deterred by substandard products. Our taste speaks volumes and sets us apart from the competition. You will be satisfied with every sip of our product. Say rum. Say Woodman. Feel satisfaction. Now that's quality. Tourism is me. Tourism is you. Tourism is everybody. And tourism connects us all. Did you know that tourism generates revenue and foreign exchange earnings? Did you? No, it stimulates infrastructure development and it changes people. Local tourism is linked to all industries. From agriculture to construction. So support the industry today and be welcoming to all our visitors. Tourism is my business. Tourism is your business. Tourism is our business. Listen one and all. Tourism connects us all. A message from the Ministry of Tourism and the Grenada Tourism Authority. It's real, it's 91, you know, okay, friends, you know what? It's like uh, 23 minutes after 8 o'clock, and I forgot to inform you of this, that yesterday you had the, the pump it up walk in, inside a car or a crew, and um, so as to find out what's going on, I mean, how that went, to be linking up with Sister Isles, uh, Linton Lendo, he be having an interview, so we'd be linking with him um, to find out exactly how that went inside a car crew yesterday, because... The next leg of the Pump It Up walk is going to be on Sunday um, from Grand Nance to the National Stadium. There's somebody in line, though. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. And how are you today? Not as good as you sound. <laughs> well, I, I hear you talking about some things, so I want to know really what is going on. Well, I hope um, 
Senator Lockerell Tsino, who is the crazy black man. He <laughs> said he come Miss Murdis as a crazy black woman, a mad black woman, but he have a crazy black man inside him you now. So I hope he's seeing who is the crazy black person. God bless. That's my, that's my, what I have to say this morning. All right, one love. God bless. All right. La la la, ti ti ti, sing a sweet soca song. La la la, ti ti ti, sing a sweet so. Pat Kip James, good morning to you. Joseph Bartholomew, Joe Bartholomew, good morning. How you doing, Joe? Everything good? Yeah, I haven't seen or heard from Dexter Mitchell in a while. Hi, Dexter, what's up, man? Raymond Courtney, have yourself a wonderful morning and thank you so very much for choosing. Real FM. Good morning to Linda Stryker and good morning to you. How are you doing? Hello? 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 Yeah. Good, good morning. morning. I, was, I was waiting for so long. I already thought you to pick up that So phone you didn't bunk to wait. You could have hung on your phone. Who really cares? You guys, I, I, I have to wait on you. But no, you don't have to. No, 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 no. Buddies? You must be crazy. Think again. Yo, me and his personal friends. No, no, that was... Me and you not bypass friends. I tell you that was. Don't let a wedding in Hamburg, you know, man. Since after you get married, you never invite me to your wedding and then you come and say with friends. You see, you don't, you, you, see, you don't understand I about understand all this what? wedding thing. I, I talked to you already about this wedding thing. I tell you, man that tie me up, man that tell me I go into a wedding and I, I end up married in. Man that tie you up. Man that tie you up long. <laughs> it, you, better, you better go and see the sea man. Yeah, I'll yeah. go by you. I'll no. go by Pastor King. I don't know if you can see. What? Let me tell you something. What? The way the way man not taking care of me and the way she treating me. I I want more more jump in my life right now. <laughs> oh me, oh, oh my. <laughs> Bro, I'm going on my long time to touch base, man. I'm there. I'm good. I'm good. Everything okay? Mm, for the time being, yeah. Yeah. Well, now, is the tourist season. now is the tourist season right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm finishing up. So, but, have but, a bit of, have but hold a bit on, of hold on. How, how come yeah. I ain't getting nothing from the tourist season? What's going on? Well, I have, I have money there for you, but oh, I just don't see you. Okay, okay, okay. You I know, am. every year you have to get your cut, the, <laughs> the radio station. The radio station has to get your cut. It's not you. Ah, uh, it's not me. Yo, member. The radio station had to pay the tithe. That's why you pay your tithe to the church. I hear you, bro. So we have to pay the tithe. To, it's giving us information that we need to hear. All right, I got you. And, and to run the radio station, it costs money. So we guys have to keep it keep it afloat. So what's up with you now? Why well, right now we lost. I don't know what happened. Nobody was saying nothing, but I got five boats not coming. Five what? Five cruise ships not coming. Why? Nobody giving a reason. They just. Give us an info that the cruise ship is not coming to Grenada anymore. They're not coming anymore? What I mean, they're not coming for this year. You have five on the list mm. for this month. Okay. And it's just not coming. So I don't want to question that too much. Maybe maybe they might go in somewhere else or maybe they have a problem. Uh, now with Grenada, maybe with their company and they're not coming to Grenada anymore. But that is a loss. I'm talking on behalf of me because that is a loss for me. So they're not coming this year at all. They probably will come again, but not this year. Yeah, yeah, they will. They will come again, but they're not coming for this this year. They're supposed to come in April. That's the last of it. All right. Anyway, I I gotta go join Sisters for a very special program. So I'll talk to you another time. All right, bro. Stay strong, man. All right, one love. All right. This is real ninety one point nine ninety one point five triple w dot d real fm Our time is now some uh, what. 28 minutes after the the hour and um, remember I told you that we'd be doing that link up here okay 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 I, I don't think they're ready for us as yet no no they're not all right, so embezzlement, embezzlement, embezzlement. That's one. Job for the boys, job for the boys, job for the boys. That's two. They say all that taking place at Victoria Park inside of Greenville. Well, the park is a big place. Do big things. Really? 
You understand? If the park is a big place, then do big things. You cannot do good things. Do great things too. But anyway, Ian Django Thomas. Good morning to you, my brother. How you doing? Everything good? Well, the man fire you. I hope you're not receiving pay still, eh? Because that is embezzlement. You can't receive pay and you're not an advisor. With everybody from Patrick Simmons. My old teacher. Yeah. Semper Navigant. You're always sailing, Patrick. You can't get rid of you, don't worry. You gotta be careful. I have a feeling I can give you just about a minute. That's all I can give you. So if you can't handle in a minute, too bad for you. One minute, go on. Yeah, Andrew, I get cut off. Um, thing. The internet was bad. I tell you yeah, one minute. I was telling you lastly, pictures, pictures is nothing new for leaders to share. But in North Korea, there's a picture of the Supreme Leader. Even if your house is burning down, you have to see that picture. They send inspectors to clean the picture. If you didn't clean it, you're getting locked up in jail. That's all I have to see. The kid is alone. Have a good morning. Have a good one. Yeah, he took less than a minute. He's a smart kid. All right, this is real. This is 91.9, 91.5, grenadacom Remember, I spoke to you about that link up. You're supposed to make a sister hands this morning. Well, they're just about started. Let's go to them. Like a spring, a funky, with sweet water for me. Good musical vibe from Sister Isle Radio. That's right. King Man says it. It's time to hit the road again with Grenada Cooperative Bank Limited for the annual Pump It Up Family Fun Walk. Gather your friends, bring out the family, organize your group, come out in your numbers, and pump it up to a healthier lifestyle while supporting a worthy cause. Join us in Karakou on April 14th at 10 a.m. as we pump it up from Abbeydale playing field to the Hillsborough playing field. Then we bring the action to the mainland on April 21st at 4 p.m. from Monrouge playing field to Kirani James Athletic Stadium. It's a fun family affair with lots of prizes and giveaways. Register today because this is the final fundraising push for the re-establishment of the Carlton home. Individual packages are $20, while packages for groups of three or more are $15 each, while stock lasts. Register online at www.grenadacorpbank.com or at any one of our retail banking units. Visit our website for more details. Well, oh. Uh... All right, all right. The final push for the reestablishment of the Carlton home. You know, yesterday was the 14th day of April, so Caracol leg of Pump It Up is uh, gone, and we all looking forward in anticipation uh, for Pump It Up inside of Grenada this coming uh, Sunday. All right, so um, who's on? Who's on? Let me just check and see where we at and all that. I know for sure it's not Francis and Lea, Francis Santillaire is about to be boarding um, SVG Air to head on down to Grenada. <laughs> yeah, I just mind your business then. I just expose you to the world, right? Good morning to all the um, members of the Grenada Cooperative Bank family uh, there. We are now being joined by P.S. Kim Frederick in the Ministry of Health. We also been joined uh, by Mrs. Erica Austin, Manager Marketing and um, uh, yeah, Customer Insight Unit there at the Grenada Cooperative, Grenada Cooperative Bank. All right, so we are now being joined also um, with our friend Suya uh, down there in his historical parish St. Patrick's, the Andrew Donald and the Real FM family there. And of course, together we'll get interactive and we'll talk to our friends right there. Let me just make sure we have everybody line up so we can get interactive, right? I see um, P.S. Kim Frederick is there, um, Erica Hostin is there, and of course, as I mentioned, the Real FM family there. All right, so P.S. Kim and uh, Mrs. Hostin, a pleasant good morning to you both. Good morning to you and to your listening audience, as well as the listening audience of Real FM Grenada. And just a slight correction, I'm Kim Frederick, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Mental Health, Wellness, and Religious Affairs. Thank you. All right. So mental health. Okay. So we narrow it down a little bit. You know the broader heading. Right. So the Permanent Secretary, right. Ministry of Mental Health and all, and all that. There. Welcome. 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 How is how's Grenada though? 
Well, Grenada is fine. I actually um, came from Karaku because I was at a pump it up walk yesterday. So I actually just came down on the Osprey, but Grenada is, is, is fine. Oh, okay. So I was wondering if you actually swim down this morning or last <laughs> night since you went. <laughs> right. So how was your experience? Oh, we'll talk to Erica in a little bit. That's all right. Since you're here, we, we can just chit chat with you still. How was your experience? It was good. It, it was actually. Actually, my, my first um, experience with the Pump It Up um, in, in Carico, and the turnout was very good. You know, I was perfectly surprised, and, and the walk was was okay as well. You know, there was a, a challenging part of it as well, just as how in Grenada you have the, the normal route and, and the challenge route. So there was a, the um, foot hill, yes, um, <laughs> it was a, a little bit challenging, not not as long as, as um, when you're going up the lane here in Grenada, but there was a challenging aspect to it, and, and it was good. At the end, of course, there was the, the health check, and, and, you know, there were healthy foods on sale, and so I even bought some of the healthy foods as well. So, yes, it was a very good walk, very good turnout, and it was very good weather as well. Right. Uh, I like the fact that you mentioned it was a challenging, but of the good, Good thing about it, it was not a competition. You walk at your own pace and, and all that as well. Yes, yes. As it was communicated, you know, throughout it, it's not a race. You know, it's a family fun walk. So, yes, it, it was just that. All right. So let's just bring in Mrs. Hostin for a while. Uh, P.S. Frederick, yeah, we'll get back to you in a little bit. Um, Mrs. Hostin, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm good, thanks. Right. So you were in Karaku yesterday too. I, I was. I'm yes. still here, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you went down on the Osprey as well, I take it? No, no, no. I'm still here. I'm here this afternoon. Oh, you're in Karaku still? Yes, I am. Oh, so you're not going back now. Stay, just remain in Karaku until pump it up next day. That would be good. I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. All right. So yesterday, pump it up, uh, Karaku leg of feet. Your, your, your general thought? I thought we had a, a, a good event. Um, people to note in the expected. Um, they came for the warm up. I think we had more persons than usual for the warm up, which is good because people need to get that warm up to ensure that they don't get any cramps and so well along the way. Um, well, I did not walk away from all, but from all indication, uh, things went well. And then at the end, we had the opportunity to um, offer healthy refreshments, um, which were on sale, as well as the community nurses were there to do some checks. You know, we had blood pressure. Um, glucose cholesterol testing i think that was well received as well um so yeah overall i think we had a, a, a good event all right so we know the, the caracol leg is gone now we're all looking forward in anticipation for the big weekend coming up in in, in grenada what can we expect from all the patrons everybody who's going to be in grenada on sunday the 21st right similar thing um again we would start at the one playing field with our usual warm-up. Um, then we'll go away to the Quran James at Lake Stadium where again um, you would have the health checks and so by the nurses, health refreshments on sale, uh, closing ceremony. We will do the Grenada contribution um, to the Ministry for, for Health and um, after that we will do an official ceremony, cer ceremonial handover of the total contribution because as you said earlier it's our final leg for um, fundraising activities for the re-establishment of the Carlton home so following Grenada's event we would actually have an official um, ceremonial handover of that total contribution to the ministry for the re-establishment of the Carlton home remember our target was 500,000 and there's no doubt um, that we are going to meet and surpass that all right, surpassing so five hundred thousand. That's not that's not bad at all. P.S. Frederick and the team from um yeah the Ministry of Health would be would be happy to hear the P.S. Sure, sure. Um, we would be happy. Yes, of course. Um, we we know that that they're almost there because so far it's um well four hundred and eighty eight thousand eight hundred and that excluded the contribution um from Carico. So for sure, um, as was well said, um, you know the the targets would be met and yes, yeah, so, um. We are happy to receive the funds, um, which would go towards the refurbishment of the what I would say a rehabilitation center because we know um it may not necessarily be called Carlton House, because Carlton House, that's how it was um called before. But of course, um we're looking at holistic rehabilitation. So yes, we'll be happy to receive the funds for that refurbishment. That's 
Right, so maybe not, it would be more challenging for uh, you and everybody who will be participating in Grenada, the ups and downs, the hills and all that. And Caracol, just a short, um, flat road from Harveyville to Hillsborough. Right, so I'm certain that you would have conserved some of your energy for next um, next weekend. Yes, of course. Um, I I am prepared. You know, um, I would say the the one in Caracol was sort of like a a warm up. You know, warm up. The one yeah. to come. Yes, you know. Um, so so yes, I look forward um to to that walk. In fact, um, I've been doing it before, so it's not really my. It would not be my first time. I've actually um participated in in five pump it up walks previously, including the one um last year. So it is something that I'm accustomed to, and I usually do the challenge route. So um this year for sure, I'll try to do the challenge route again, which is what I normally would do. So yes, I look forward, you know, to the walk next right. Sunday. P.S. You know, last week we got the perspective from from the minister Dalma uh, Thomas there as it relates to um the pump it up from your your perspective your standpoint there um what 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 do you think this whole pump it up exercise and especially funds going for the re-establishment of the Carlton home what what was your general your general take on the um the whole pump it up family fund walk well it's a very good initiative by the Grenada Cooperative Bank and um of course um our ministry um part of our mandate is to promote um, wellness, as well as to provide mental health services to the population. And Coop Bank is really facilitating in both aspects, because with the funds um, that um, are being raised towards the reestablishment of the Carlton home, of course, that would go towards providing mental health services, because once um, we construct the building and we have the resources to Furnish the building, of course, that would um, help us to provide much needed services to the population. And then in respect of um, wellness, um, the walk in itself is a physical activity, which is in keeping with our mandate. So um, so they are really supporting us in achieving our mandate. Um, really, what we would like is, is to have community engagement and we'd like to have um, the private sector and community groups and so involved. So the corporate, the Grenada Cooperative Bank as a corporate citizen, you know, is making its contribution in respect of um, encouraging person to be engaged in physical activity so um we're very much supportive of this initiative and we like to see other persons you know doing similar initiatives all right uh, that's that's good so um we'll encourage the folks in grenada well we cannot encourage character because carry leg is, is gone so we'll encourage the folks in grenada to um, come out on um, a sunday um mrs hosty for the people who don't have a a, a, a t-shirt i know some of the packages were sold out or maybe they can't find the size uh, or sizes and so on what would you want them to know or to do on sunday coming all right well as you mentioned um the t-shirts are almost out. I think we just have a small quantity in children's sizes. However, we don't want people to, as the PS said, we are encouraging persons to, um, do, to, to, to maintain the exercise routine. Um, they don't necessarily have to depend on us to have the walk. We want them to continue. We want to encourage people to live physically active lives. Um, walking, again, in the simplest form, um, from the community groups, continue to walk. Uh, um, don't give it up. Don't, don't, uh, or, or because you were not able to register this year, or that you would not exercise or try to or arrange your own. Um, we just want to encourage people to live vibrant, physically active lives, take a preventative approach to health issues, um, continue doing that. Right, that, that that's good. You know, we've been saying it's it's, it's it's the final push for the um the reestablishment of the Carlton home for the you know the walk in twenty twenty four. So talk to us. So after um Grenada on Sunday, what next for Pump It Up and Grenada Corporate um Cooperative Bank? Well, after Sunday, Pump It Up is not over. Um, it's the final push for fundraising activities for the reestablishment of the that facility. Um. For next year, we would have another initiative. We have not decided on one yet, but Pump It Up continues because, again, our intention is to encourage healthy lifestyles among our population. Yep, so we continue. 
Right. And we know it was actually a collaborative effort. You had a lot of um, benefactors or other patrons uh, partnering okay. with uh, Core Bank. You may just want to recognize and maybe say something to them at this time. Yeah, definitely. Um, we made an appeal back in 2016 into 2017 to um, have Corporate Grenada on board with us um, to speed up the fund or fundraising drive. And there were a few companies that, without nudging, came on board. Um, we have like the Jonas Brown and Hubbards, we have Guardian General, we have Antillian Group, we have Flow. Um, they are on with us. In the past, we've had others as well. We've had uh, Body Image Health Club. We had Cuyaba Beach Resort. We also had Waggity on as an impactor. So these persons have contributed over the years um, to the totals that we have uh, um, today. And I also want to say um, we really appreciate the collaboration as well with the Ministry for Health, especially Mental Health, Wellness and Religious Affairs. Um, they've played an active role in our drive, especially for the past two years, um, to encourage persons, again, to contribute, to participate, and um, help us with delivering the message as well uh, to persons to live this, this healthy um, lifestyle, taking the preventative approach. Um, so we really want to say thank you to them. Um, they're not just speaking the words but they're actually doing as well we've had registration from from them as well so they're also participating so a special thank you to them as well in terms of other alliances we on board Glenel, they've been with us from inception of pump it up talking from 2008 2009 they've been on board with us so a long-standing partner we have other places like um the national stadium ministry of sports for venues and so and the vendors that provide us year after year with health refreshments at the end, um, thank you to them as well. All right, and uh, well, we know the um, the the the, the pump it up leg in Karakou and Pity Matnik is over. So, um, your final t- what what would you like to say to the people who were on the walk um yesterday for to Pity Matnik and Karakou? Congratulations on making the walk for another year and exhibiting here your willingness to um to exercise, to remain active, and as I said earlier, to continue, I encourage them to continue. Um, this is not, should not be a one-off, it should not be once a year, but you should continue to move. I think the, the, the ministry, they have their own program, Grenada Shifts. That's right, yes, Grenada Shifts. So um, these, these initiatives are geared towards ensuring or encouraging our population to, to, to stay physically active. So that is my um, advice to persons on the walk yesterday. Don't just let it be a one-off, but it should continue. All right, Mr. Sosin, I'm going to ask you one more before we go back to um, mm-hmm. uh, PS, and then we'll come back to, to wrap up here. Right, um, we know, know the, the, the target was $500,000. Before or prior to yesterday, we were at 488800 All right, we also know that there is, a, there is an account set up for persons who probably cannot make the walk and, and all that. Can you reiterate the account number for us, please? Right. So that's another way that you can um, contribute. If you have not um, registered, you can also make a contribution towards that fund. The account number is 111001623. And you can visit any of our branches to make that contribution. Just simply say to the person that you meet that you're here to make a contribution to the fund for the reestablishment of the facility. And um, they will gladly assist you. No, no contribution is too small. As we usually say, one one for the basket. Um, mm-hmm. So whatever contributions you have, feel free to make, make them. All right, that, that, that sounds good. So we can just um, go back to, to PS a little bit there. Right, so PS, can you just reiterate for us some of the services offered uh, by the, the, the Carlton Home? Well, um, as you may be aware, the, the, the Carlton home was, was damaged by Hurricane Ivan. So that is why it's the reestablishment. So it has not been um, reestablished as yet with the funding we hope to construct. Um, well, not with the funding from the cooperative bank. Um, the funds would go towards furnishing of the facility. But um, there is a project um, that was approved this year um, for construction work. So 
this year we know for sure that construction will not start given where we are at. Um, what we intend to do is to do the designs and have construction um, next year. But in terms of services that are provided, of course, that there are mental health services that are provided um, within the various um, community health centers um, throughout Grenada um, and Caracu. Of course, at the Mungi Psychiatric Hospital, of course, we know we have um, that psychiatric care provided there as well. So um, it does not mean that services are not being provided, but we, we need to have that facility um, whereby persons, you know, when they have um, whatever Ever issues, you know, they can go there and get the care that they need rather than having to be um, admitted at the Mungi Psychiatric Hospital, which is really at a, a what I would say a more, more chronic, you know, um, stage. That is when you don't want persons to be admitted. You don't want to provide the services to them at an earlier stage. So, um, so that is being done, and 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 we intend to to have more engagement with, within the community. So, we've actually just recently. Uh, um, gotten a bus so that that will facilitate the community services. So yes, yeah, so so the ministry is is doing what what is can now in the absence of the facility. But of course, um, once we have the facility, then there would be better intervention. So oh I just want God. to take the opportunity. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so I want to take the opportunity. Um to thank the cooperative bank of course and all the benefactors for providing the funding um and also to the grenadian public for their support because of course by purchasing the t-shirt the, the by going on the walk of course um you know supporting the initiative as well and also they are benefiting directly because you know they are exercising which which is good so they're actually providing the funding, you know, indirectly and also making a difference in, in their lifestyle. Because at the end of the day, we want to encourage healthy lifestyles and we thank them for their support in that regard. We also want to thank the Ministry of Health, of course, for coming on board because the Ministry of Health um, facilitated the health screening, which is important. Persons need to know their numbers. And, and so we want to encourage persons, you know, to do the health screening at the end of the walk. Nice. Uh, while, while you are at it, um, uh, Piers, there, the, let's talk about the, the importance, the, you know, all the health benefits of walking, because some people may just sit every day on a daily basis and without even uh, getting up and do a little bit of exercising, walking. Well, uh, are we talking um, exercising in general, but we can just narrow it down to um, walking at this stage. Yes, well, walking, of course, you know, um, as a physical activity, it helps, you know, um, sometimes with persons may be stressed and, you know, just the walking may, may help to ease the stress um, for persons um, who have high cholesterol, you know, they would encourage walking, you know, physical activity, even if you for your um, high glucose level, your blood sugar. And so um, it also helps. And and so we, we know a, a lot of the non-communicable diseases, you know, um, exercising, you know, can can help in, in, in that regard. So we want to encourage persons you know to um to live a healthy lifestyle which is eating healthy foods and exercising and having you know adequate adequate sleep so those are things that we want to encourage as a ministry all right so the final push for the re-establishment of um the carlton home ps so in your capacity can you invite all the folks in grenada to come out on sunday to be part of the fun walk I want to encourage everyone who has, uh, you know, the the package to, to to come out, and for those who have young children to purchase, you know, those packages as well because those are the ones that are available right now. So it's an opportunity for them to exercise. So I want to encourage them to to come out. I know the core bank, you know, they start to try to manage the numbers because of the traffic and other things. So um, so in that regard, I'm saying for those who have the package, don't stay at home, come out. And don't just exercise on that day, but you know, continue to exercise because it is beneficial to you. You have to take charge of your health and um just you know exercise. It may not be daily, but you know, at least maybe three times a week or so. Exercise and continue your, your exercise regime. So that is what I want to encourage persons to do. Don't wait until you know the core bank or the ministry is having a health walk or another corporate citizen, but um you understanding the importance of exercise you know just try and and exercise 
is daily if you can, but if not, at least maybe three times a, a week or so. So I want to encourage that. And I just want to say that soon, of course, the ministry would um, roll out a community initiative which would involve persons in the community exercising. It is something that we are working on and soon we'll be able to roll out that. Because we, we really want to see persons exercising and um, we recognize that some persons may not be self-motivated, you know, to do it, you know, um, constantly. And so we have to create that environment where they will have that avenue to do so. So that is something that we, we're working on. All right, sounds good. I, I, I wonder if that was, a, that, was a, that was a wrap from the PL? Was, uh, that, that was your final take? Or we'll come back to you for a final take then? Well, my... Uh, well, 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 my final take would, would be to just encourage everybody, you know, to, to come out. As I said, those are the packages come out. And to thank all the persons, that, as I said before, who would have um, contributed, you know, the benefactors, the Ministry of Health, and all of the other persons who provide services, the vendors, and everybody else, and, and the general public who, who participate in, in, in the work. And we look forward to seeing them on, on Sunday. Um, very and thank well. to, thanks to you as well, to you and Real FM and all the other um, media houses who, who, who would have facilitated the media appearances. We cannot, you know, forget you because you are promoting the event and, and without you and others promoting it, persons would not be aware of it or even be motivated. So, yes, yeah, so we have to thank you as well for giving us the opportunity to be here and for promoting um, the wellness. And um, we want you to, we want to encourage you to do it, not just. As, as we have pumped it up but you know while you have your programs to encourage persons to exercise as well so thank you we'll do that we'll do that and thank you for taking the time and uh, i know you have your work cut out for you i mean after a nice weekend in Karaku, but of course i'm i'm certain that it was sort of refreshing for you being in Karaku, just the same yes it was <laughs> relaxed <laughs> all right so ps uh, ps king frederick we want to thank you have a nice day today um mrs hostin your final final yeah. final take well before we go to your final take um just reiterate what can we expect from um a patron and everybody who will be on pump it up in grenada this coming sunday okay well before i go to grenada um just to wrap up on your um just to let you know that i had about just around 485 persons registered for the caracol leg and the bank of course made this contribution based on the number of persons registered. So it's a dollar and fifty cents per mile. The route is just about three and a half miles. Um, that's added to the donations and so by um, two percent. The contribution that was made yesterday was that of three thousand dollars. Right. So again, I want to thank Caracol um, participants for coming out and demonstrating your stance on taking that preventative approach to health issues and, of course, contributing to the cause at hand. Um, for Grenada, I mean, we get to do this again next Sunday, thankfully, um, and we look forward to the participation, again, participation levels as we've experienced in previous years. Um, we know that the registration would be just around 4,500 persons, so... We're expecting that number, maybe just a little less. There may be a few persons who may not be able to make it, but we expect a large turnout again. Um, come early, come to do your warm-up exercises and show that you warm up those muscles. And so you have two routes. You have the regular route. You have the challenge route. If you think you need an additional push, like the PS, and PS Federal Care, you can take the challenge route. And then at the end, you get to do a nice cool down you get to purchase your healthy refreshments. You have and vegetables on sale. You get to do your health checks. Um, with the nurses at the stadium. Um, and 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 if we we are go, but of course we knew the um the challenges with with um with COVID and all that, and you had to revert to whatever. 
But of course, we are here. We are here, and we continue to encourage persons uh, to um, participate. Who is gone? We have to forward in anticipation for 2025, when we might be not might we will be looking at another beneficiary year for the um, right. So Carlton Home, yeah, history 500 plus thousand, <laughs> and of course PS and the. the the um, members of the Ministry of Health, they'll be happy uh, to know that they're getting somewhere in the vicinity of 500 plus a thousand dollars there. All right. So, P.S. Yeah, well, look forward. Look, uh, you'll get your big check coming up. No problem. <laughs> Core Bank, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for the initiative and all that. We want to thank the Core Bank family for putting on all that so that... Um, Persons can, um, you know, not only um, exercise, but of course, we support in our war cause and all that. So, um, individual companies, institutions who may just follow in your footsteps to ensure that we can do something. Thank you, um, Mrs. Hostin and the team from Quad Bank. Uh, P.S., we want to thank you just the same and everybody. Thank you as well. Uh, um, it's a Paya, Greenita, Karakou, and Pidamani family, all the diaspora, wherever we have been heard and all that. We want to thank you. Have yourselves a productive day. Thank you very much. This is Real FM Radio. Stay tuned, friends. I be believe that we've got the rider. It should be up in a couple of ticks. This is Real FM Radio, broadcasting from studios located at Main Street Satyrs, right here in beautiful historical St. Patrick's. Stay with us. Informative. Hit the road again with Grenada Cooperative Bank. This Limited. is.